Hey everybody, Edward Farmer, a realtor here in Austin, Texas, with my friend and preferred painter, Frank Hernandez of Vista Painting. Frank, thanks for joining us and allowing me to come over to the house you're working on. No you know, one, one of the things that I have learned from you is the difference between spraying and rolling. I've noticed that when you do work that I've, I've been a part of, you're, you're most often rolling walls, and I sometimes see spraying, and I know that spraying is not gonna be as good as rolling. What's, what's the difference? I mean, uh, to be honest with you, since I was right after high school, that's all I did is roll, brush and roll. But uh, I, I, when at the time I seen the difference when you spray, like when it, the texture, like, it's kind of rough. Like it an orange peel has orange all the peel, deviations. Well, yes, correct, and then the uh, Monterey drag to a little bit more rough texture. So you spray it, you get a film on it, but it doesn't go into like little grooves. So a lot of times you gotta spray, it gives you a good base and then come back and roll it so you can cover all the little. That's right, that's what you told me on new homes. That's why they're always spraying because that's the first time the wall yeah, it's a lot quicker. has seen it. It's a lot quicker, but at the same time, uh, it's not 100% finished. So that's why somebody, I don't know if you notice on new homes, the guy's coming behind the sprayer with a roller okay. to cover up all the, the little uh, cracks, gaps that the spray doesn't cover. So you like to roll the walls because of the deviations in the yes. different textures. Uh -huh. And then I think you've said that you'll spray the ceiling because it doesn't have those deviations. Right. Okay. And if it's like a real rough texture, we do come, I have one of my guys come behind me roll over if it's kind of a little rough texture yeah and then uh we like to spray the doors we usually spray them in the garage or when they're on well it depends what the customer wants if they want to just paint the the ceilings and walls so we just what do you call it mask everything and it's uh spray the ceilings and then just roll the walls if it's two color especially you, you know one other question just just to keep this going a little bit longer is the amount of time it takes when someone is living in the house versus a vacant house. We're in a vacant house today. You can get a lot more done probably oh, yes. in a vacant oh, house. Yes, for sure. Like, do y'all have like kids and dogs getting your way sometimes? Oh, no, no, <laughs> not this time. <laughs> um, but it helps when it's vacant. Yes, it sure does. And you can save some time and save some of the uh, consumers some money yes, in, the, in uh -huh. the prep. All right. Hope that helps y'all. Take care.